Be joined by Cincinnati head coach Luke Fickle. He is at home. I am in Pittsburgh, but we're going to talk a little college ball here, long distance coach. And before we get to your game, because I'm so intrigued by your week one matchup, you're an Ohio boy. You know what this one's all about. What are some of your early memories of the backyard brawl between West Virginia and Pitt? You know what? I don't know a whole lot about it, to be honest with you. I, I, uh, I'm intrigued. I, I'm hoping I can hurry home from my, uh, what I'd say, front yard brawl, the uh, freshman football game that I'm going to try to catch tonight and see the real uh, backyard brawl a little bit and try to relax and watch the little college football start. It is a good way to start the season. We had talked about rivalries and what makes this game so special. Looking forward to this one tonight. And look, you and I have done this numerous times on SportsCenter. We've done it in person at the college football playoffs, so I feel like we have that kind of relationship where I'm going to allow you right now to break news on, on SportsCenter. Give me who your starting quarterback is going to be come Arkansas on Saturday. Well, we're getting ready to go out to practice and have that last final go at it to see who uh, who's going to get the, uh, the, the nod right now. But... Uh, we kind of like to leave the leans up in the air a little bit. Just, uh, you know, there's always something for Saturday. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying we don't really have a good idea, but uh, we're going to kind of hold on that and, uh, you know, kind of wait till uh, till game time. Look, Ben and Evan come in. They know what's at stake here, Coach. They know that they're replacing Desmond Ritter, who had such a historic run for your program. How have both of these players throughout the course of camp responded to this quarterback competition with a lot of pressure on their shoulders they've done a great job i mean my unique my thing about it is it's all about the relationship <clears throat> because how those guys handle this whole battle because everybody's watching whether it's our own team or people outside but it has a great effect on the locker room and and what your team and what your chemistry and all that really looks like because you know we put an incredible emphasis on together everybody achieves more and you know, the human element that settles in a lot of times when you're, you know, designating who's a starter or who's going to play or who's going to get those touches uh, makes it difficult on all. But you know what? We know darn well that it's a long season. We're going to need everybody. And, uh, you know, we got a way which we're going to start the thing out. But you never know how, uh, how the whole season rolls. Yeah, and it's interesting, Luke, because you had a historic season last year at Cincinnati. I just detailed the stat. First group of five team to make the college football playoff. And maybe if you're in a, in a different game to open the season perhaps a little concern about a sleepy start but you got to go to Fayetteville and take on Arkansas who's got a lot of preseason hype what is it about this game that you believe is good for your team coming off a historic season a year ago well it, we say we've got some younger and newer guys I mean the, the quarterback position in general but I think more than anything, we'll find out a lot about ourselves uh, in week one. I mean, more so, I think, than any other year that we've really started. And not that we haven't had some really big openers, you know, back in the UCLA and, and, and a couple of those games where we you know, were trying to figure out who we really were. Um, I think we're obviously a lot deeper into the program and what we've done. But to go to, to Fayetteville, to go, uh, you know, to an SEC home home field um, in week one with, you know, the, the type of team and some of the newer guys at those key positions, I think it'll it'll vote well for us in the in the in the big picture of what it is we're doing, um, but we're going to find out a lot about ourselves really really quick. Yeah, you, you know, and, and you talk about building a foundation with your program. I talked about Pat Narduzzi yesterday about this. They win the ACC championship last year. That was their hit. How do they establish they built the foundation to do it year in and year out? I'm curious with you. You kind of ramped up to last year to get to the college football playoff. What is it now about what you did last year that kind of establishes the foundation that you've built there at Cincinnati? I think it's all, seeing is believing, right? I mean, we all talk about that. We've told our players, don't tell me, show me. And I think that the ability for us to see it, I mean, as a, me as a coach, as well as the guys within our program, to see how it's really done and, and how it can be done. And I don't just mean, you know, making the playoffs and, and having the run that we did. But I mean, about the process and what the process looked like. And we've got so many guys like the Desmond Ritters that we talk about or the Kobe Bryant's from the past or from last year that didn't have exactly how you would script out or, or it all happened exactly um, really easy or handed to them. So I think that for us in building the program, the guys with the greatest success like Des and Kobe and those guys, their battles to, to get to where they were to be the next level pro guy, that's not where they were as a, as a young guy. That didn't probably even where they were as a, as a sophomore or junior. So I think that kind of is what shows the program and the process it takes to, to not just become a great player, but especially to become a great team. 
Hey, you talk about a great team. It, it seems as if you can stack one season onto the next, and based on last two, you guys are certainly headed in the right direction. Uh, can you tell me, based on the film and what you've done, what kind of team Arkansas brings into this game? A, a very scary team. You know, I think that the first thing that jumps out at me is they led the SEC in rushing, and it wasn't just one guy. Obviously, the quarterback led them, but, you know, the, the multiple weapons that they had offensively, um, you know, with a quarterback coming back, it's only going to get better and better. And uh, I think it starts there for them. I know for us in the past, it makes everybody around them better when they've got a quarterback that everybody believes in. Uh, and then I think this is the additions. I think you can see that year three. Now, we haven't seen them play this year, but the additions of size and length, um, I think they've done a really good job at establishing who they are and what they want to be. You know, and, and uh, you know, we haven't uh, we haven't been an opener like this, that's for sure. And uh, that's why I keep I'm excited. But I know that uh, our team is going to find out a lot about ourselves because of, you know, not just the level of competition right here, but the environment that we're going to be thrust into. Yeah, that, look, that's it in a nutshell. That's what makes this game so great. The environment, whether you're at home or on the road week one of the college football season. And coach, I'll get you out of here on this one. It seems like we were just celebrating Memorial Day and it was the end of May, but all of a sudden June, July, August have come and gone September one. I don't care if it's back when you were a player. I don't care if it's now as you're a coach. Give me your favorite thing about Labor Day weekend, which historically kicks off the college football season. The only way I've ever known is the labor on Labor Day and uh... Coach Tressel brought that up to us. I think when I first started coaching, um, I'm not sure I recognized that beforehand, but uh, we try to represent uh, what has made our country great. And we're going to labor really, really hard on Labor Day because it's a big part of what it is we do and the time at which we do it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.